What is going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ali Roots. And together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Welcome to another episode of What Sold Last Week on eBay. Yeah. Whistle. What he whistle, said. Whistle. 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 Welcome so, to Whistlewo. <laughs> welcome to Whistlewo. <laughs> so in this series, it's a series we do every week. We show you some of the items that we sold on eBay. In the last seven days. Exactly. Before we get going on that, guys, just a really quick announcement. Mentoring for March, starting March 15th, our mentoring program is open. We opened it Ooh. last night. 75 spots are available mm -hmm. 33 of them are already gone so if you do want one of the remaining spots there's a link to purchase in the description of this video again we're taking 75 people two months of full mentoring from us direct access to us it's gonna be fun yeah. the last round was awesome and this round is gonna be awesome too all right guys without further ado here's 15 items that we sold on ebay for profit last week affliction has been doing really well for us as long yes. as we list it for the right price it sells really really fast so this is an affliction shirt we bought for one dollar and it sold for 19 dollars and 50 cents nice another brand that's been killing it for us is harley davidson harley davidson flies off the shelves for us this one we actually paid a little bit more than we usually pay for. We paid $7 for this Harley Davidson polo shirt, but it did sell fast for us and we got decent money for it. So it sold for $28.77, free shipping. Everything that we do is free shipping. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a really good buy, guys. That was from a thrift store, and it sold very, very fast. These A6, I passed right over them. <laughs> and I even thought to myself when I saw them, I want them for myself, but ew, used old sneakers, who wants that? But whenever they're bright and they're colorful, it's definitely worth buying. Yeah. Look it up, guys. Don't skip over sneakers just because you think, oh, they're old and they're used. So these ones, they were $5. I mm. remember we got them at Salvation Army. Salvation Army, half off mm -hmm. day. Yep. And we sold them for $38, free shipping. Nice. Another fantastic brand to look out for, guys, is Patagonia. Patagonia stuff does very, very well on eBay. New or used, it sells very, very well. So this is a pair of Patagonia shorts that I picked up at Salvation Army a little while back. Pay $2.50 for them, and they sold for $31 for us. Whoa. Good sale. Whoa. Cleveland Cavaliers. Don't know what they are. We paid 10 cents for this snapback, and it sold for $34.77. Colorado horses. Colorado horses. <laughs> Yeah, this is from from one of the or from that garage sale snapback lot that we got I'm way back hockey. in the day. That's my guess. Wrong basketball. <laughs> wrong, you're wrong. Hockey, not hockey. Calves, babe. It's okay. When you say calves, I think cow. It's okay. Baby cow. <laughs> Good sale on that one. Hats are still selling well for us. Yay, Colorado horses. <laughs> Another Paradise Found button-down shirt sold for us. This one was really cool as well. Anything that's so. Paradise Found that's vintage with a good print on it mm -hmm. usually sells for around 20 bucks. So this one we paid $3 for, again from Salvation Army, and it sold for us for $20 even. One gig, guys. It's one gig. <laughs> this little silver iPod shuffle, we paid $10 for it, sold it for almost 60 bucks, yeah. $59.88. I mean, fast. whoa, that sold literally within days of Cali listing it? Yep. Or within hours? I think it sold same day. Same, same day, day. Yeah. hours. Yeah. Hours, guys. And that was from a garage sale. Mm -hmm. Paid $10 for it at a garage sale. And the reason why I think it sold so fast is because it's sealed. It's a technically an older iPod because it's only one gig. <laughs> so um, old. And, it is, and it's sealed. So I think it probably went to a collector who's just going to put it up on their shelf. I'm definitely saying it went to a collector. Yeah. yeah. Here's another really, really good garage sale find. I'll let Allie tell you about this one too because I don't want to take her thunder. She found these shoes. Great find, babe. I do really well with shoes. I just see expensive shoes from afar and I'm like a moth to light. <laughs> Found these Fendi shoes. I don't understand why the lady was like, all shoes a dollar. Did she realize that she put her Fendi shoes out? That's why garage like, shows are so that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. She just wanted to get rid of stuff. They were cleaning out. So we had them listed at, I think it was $97.77 mm -hmm. and we took a best offer for $75 because we didn't want to be greedy and we figured, hey, that's money in the bank right now. We could wait a long time for them to sell. They've been listed a while 
let's get him gone. And that's, that's awesome. why it's really great for two people to go because we mm -hmm. met someone and he was worried if him and his friend went that maybe they would, you know, step on each other's toes sure. trying to find stuff. But Ryan and I are always attracted to different things. And teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Picked up this pair of Merrill brand sandals at a thrift store, paid $3 for them, and they sold for 25 bucks. Nice quick flip. Merrill's a great brand. These aren't the most expensive shoes. Um, but they sell very well for us. So we'll pretty much pick up anything that's Merrill as long as it's in good condition and it's cheap enough. Whenever I find shoes, I always make sure that they're in really nice condition. But not only that, I make sure that the sales price is really high on mm. them. And these, they were right over $45. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's under 50, but it's still worth it. We paid $10 for these Banana Republic monk strap shoes. Monk strap. And they sold for $47.77, which was full asking price. Allie for the win again. Woo! That means we listed them right. Yeah, good keyword on that as well, guys. Monk strap, that's one that I actually didn't know. Allison found it when she was looking up comps, but mm -hmm. the double strap like that is a monk strap, the right? Double strapping. Or I think it's a double, a double monk strap and then you monks can are double strap it. you can also do a single monk strap as well double strap it. okay <laughs> a while back we got a bunch of fishing rods that were brand new this is one of the fishing rods that we got the rest of them have already sold this was actually the last one to sell we paid twenty dollars for this pen brand fishing rod and it sold for 60 bucks we had three of these ones they all sold for between 60 to 70 dollars i believe and then we had another fishing rod that sold for like 120 bucks so Fishing rods do very, very well, and they're actually pretty light to ship. It's just packaging them the right way so that they get your customer in good condition. This Wounded Warrior Under Armour Polo, it was really hard to get both those Ws out <laughs> for some weird reason. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. We paid $2.50 for it, and it sold for $23.77, which was our full asking price yep. yet again. Yep. So really good listing. Wounded Warrior stuff sells really, really well. Hey, Tommy Bahama for, for your, your mama. mama. Peace. This one was in very good condition. Uh, nice graphic on it. We only paid $2.50 for it, mm -hmm. and we got $19.77. We used to get a little bit more for these Tommy Bahama shirts. We used to get around like 22, 23 bucks. Now we get around 20, which is okay with us. Mm -hmm. As long as we can pick them up cheap, we will continue to purchase them. Yeah, as long as we can get them cheap is key because a lot of thrift stores list them or will have them tagged yeah. for $10. This Apple TV third generation was five bucks from a garage sale and we sold it for $52. Yep, that was actually one that was a different Apple TV model in a different box. Mm -hmm. And one of you guys pointed that out. So thank you very much for pointing oh, that out. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah. make sure you check your electronics. Mm -hmm. Make sure the model number of the actual unit matches the number on the box, basically. Because we would have sold it probably for $100 and then it would have been a different model. <laughs> so we ended up still getting decent money for it. It's $5 into 52 is still still good money. Take it. Yeah. Old, old item. So old. Look at that picture. You can tell by the background, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> These are vintage Bogner ski pants. Again, Bogner. an old item. We've had them for a long time. I think we paid $5 for them. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we paid something like that, around five bucks for them and we took a best offer on them for $35. We had them listed for $47.77, but again, because it's such an old item, we were like, get rid of it. It's still profit. It's and snowing out, done. someone wants it. Yeah. Let them have it. Still snowing? It's still snowing somewhere. <laughs> this is another Tommy Bahama for, for your, your mama. mama. We paid $2.50 <laughs> for this one, which again, that's a really good price to buy it at, and it sold for $19.25. So you guys yeah. can see, that's around what we're getting for these things yeah. right now. Solid sale. I loved this t-shirt when we found it at a Goodwill, I believe. Yeah, we found it at a Goodwill, Goodwill. paid $2.98 for it, so three bucks. And it's a really cool meatloaf concert t-shirt. Now I'm hungry. No. <laughs> Hashtag feed alley. <laughs> From one of the world tours that they did. Um, again, paid $3 mm -hmm. for it, and we took a best offer on it of $34. Which nice. is great. 10 times our money, happy with that. Another Tommy for your mommy. Pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you liked my delivery there? I did. They're only $4. I think that we got them the same day as we did the meatloaf shirt. Pretty sure I remember that. Yeah. Yep. And then they sold for $37.77. 
full asking price, that Very Fox nice. logo. I showed a friend last night those shorts and she was shocked. She was like, people buy those? I know, now? that's funny. I was like, you wouldn't believe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I don't know if you guys remember that video, but I'll link it somewhere if you want to go back and watch it because I asked you guys what you think they will sell for. So go back and see if you commented on that video if you were right. <gasps> Because I know a lot of people said around that price. Some people said way less, some people said a little bit more, but they ended up selling for almost 40 bucks. So we're happy with that. Whoa. Yeah. Another great brand to look out for, guys. Everlast Vintage Stuff has been selling very well for us. <laughs> Muscles. This is an Everlast Vintage cutoff sweatshirt, men's bodybuilding type sweatshirt. We paid $2 for it at Salvation Army, and we got 25 bucks for it. And this is the second one we've sold in two weeks. So. They are selling very well for us. If you see items like this while you're out thrifting, grab them. They're doing well. You grab them. You're a grab them. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Vineyard Vines picnic shirt. Picnic. It literally looks like you're gonna eat a picnic on it. <laughs> no, don't put that in the title. Oh gosh, you're too much. <laughs> but I think it's a Tucker, right? Tucker. Yep, the name of it is Tucker, not the, Picnic. <laughs> the little embroidered whale. Look for the little embroidered whale. It's a cute little logo. It is. We paid up, we paid $10 yeah. for it, yep. Thrift but, stores know this brand now. Yeah, they, they do. do. And it sold for $37.77, so it was worth paying $10. Yeah. And we will. We'll pay up to, depending on the condition of the Vineyard Vines item and if it has that logo or, logo, logo or not, yeah. we'll pay up to like 15 bucks for them just because we know we can get close to 40 bucks for them. And there you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is another episode of Whis Whistle Whistle What sold on eBay last week? Whistle Whistle what sold last week on eBay? Whistle Whoa. Whistle Whoa. Whistle -wa. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope that you enjoy the series. We do. And please make sure that you subscribe to our channel because this is something that we do every single week. We're gonna do it for the entirety of 2018. So if you like this, if you enjoy seeing the stuff that we sell on eBay, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. It really helps. And then if you didn't like this video, of course, just give it a thumbs up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. A bug, sorry. Oh, get it. It was just like a little one. It's by my face. Go away. Okay, got it. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Again, mentoring is open. Spots are very, very limited. If you would like to sign up, there's a link in our bio where you can go sign up. And Once last time they sold out, what, in three days? Three days, yeah. So this is day number two. Yep. If you go to the website and there's no place to buy, it means that we've sold out. So we're looking forward to working with you guys. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And together, together we, we are... Rally Roots. Roots. Peace out. Yes. Peace. Piece of chicken grease. Peace out. All right. Bye.